Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Cooler Master Silent Pro M 700 watt power supply. What's included is the user's manual, a CD with the user's manual on it, silicon pads to eliminate vibrations, modular leads, four black screws for mounting the power supply in the case, a power cord, and the power supply. These silicon pads actually snap on to both ends of the power supply. The Cooler Master Silent Pro line of power supplies are currently available in three wattages, 500, 600, and 700. I will be reviewing the 700 watt model, which is more than enough power even for high-end computer systems. Now, how is this wattage determined? Well, to understand that, you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use. And there are essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case, the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 165 watts and the 12 volt is 600 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. Also, some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. Well, the plus 3.3 volt rail is 28 amps, and the plus 5 volt rail is 25 amps. There's a single plus 12 volt rail, which is an impressive 50 amps. Note that power supplies with a single plus 12 volt rail are preferred for a multiple video card setup. There are a couple of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. The first is wattage. Determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware you will be installing. Generally speaking, a medium to high-end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply. For a hardcore system, select a power supply that's around 800 watts. If, however, you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top-of-the-line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware, select a power supply that's 1000 watts or greater. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load. The efficiency of this power supply is 85%. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, overvoltage, undervoltage, and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has APFC. APFC, or Active Power Factor Correction, is something that also assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has APFC. Sixth, Look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors. This ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply with low-grade capacitors. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider a power supply that has a modular design because it reduces the cable mess inside the case. Let's have a closer look at this power supply. It has a matte black paint finish and the housing is steel. The quiet 135mm fan and the honeycomb ventilation ensures maximum cooling so the power supply should remain cool in almost any environment. Here's the power cable connection and the power switch. This power supply has plenty of leads, but the main motherboard leads are hardwired into the power supply and can't be removed, although the remaining are flat, flexible modular leads. While this power supply doesn't have all modular leads, the required ones are already attached. Modular leads are fantastic because you only need to use the ones for your particular setup, which reduces the cable mess inside the case. This not only looks great, but it also increases airflow inside the case. Finally, have a listen to the 135 millimeter fan. Thank you. 
This is one of the very best power supplies that I've reviewed in quite a while in this range. It comes with a five-year warranty. It's ultra efficient as well. It comes with a very quiet fan, is modular, and is extremely well crafted. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.